Well, it is day four of the project. I haven't actually had a full day of work on it yet, but um, hopefully I'm here for the weekend. At my parents' place, they're gone, so I have the shop to myself. And hopefully this weekend's goal are to get the frame cut, shortened, and weld it all back together. Uh, and before I do that, I have to remove the gas tank and the drive shaft. So uh, first I gotta figure out how to get it back in here. And it looks like my dad's been doing some work and has uh, clogged up the shop. Fixing the little mini quad for my nephew. Yeah, maybe I'll stick it on a cart. Gotta get the truck back in. Not sure how I'm gonna accomplish that yet. Especially since I'm by myself. Maybe Tiff will have to come and help me. We'll see. Anyways, let's go. Well, I've pulled out the gas tank, the drive shaft, and the spare tire just to save some weight for me pushing it around. Uh, I didn't really film any of it. What I'm gonna do now, um, I've actually already designed the inner and outer uh, frame supports that I'm gonna weld on when I once I cut the frame. Um, so I need to cut those out, and I'm super lucky that I have some great tools to do that. Uh, a little background, I've actually been sailing for the last two years. That's all on YouTube if you wanna check it out. Uh, but I haven't used any of my tools in that time, so everything's been sitting here at my parents place uh, Basically unused So I'm gonna have to clean it up sort of remember how to use it and uh, get everything set up But yeah, I can't complain because this makes work like this really easy Okay, hopefully this computer still works Looks like I need to clean up my desktop a little bit. <laughs> Looks like everything imported well, and uh, just go grab some steel, get this cut, and. Yeah, that's great. Looks good. Gotta go grab my other sheets of steel. Ooh, there they are. Two more supports to go. Looking good. Okay, we're back. It's the next day and uh, all my uh, inner and outer supports are cut for the frame. And now I just gotta bend up the inner supports. So I always do the little slot cuts and then it makes it really easy for me to bend but then I have to weld it up. I was gonna TIG weld it but I just realized my TIG welder is out of yeah, so I'll have to make it. I'm gonna bend them up and get them uh, ready to go. So I've just laid everything out. Uh, I got my frame cuts in a nice open spot where access is easy. And I actually have them uh, going the opposite way on uh, either frame rail. Theory is that any stress then won't be in the exact same spot on each frame rail and hopefully that will limit any sort of remote possibility of, of something happening. I've marked it at 16 inches in a nice easy spot to measure and once it's cut, chunks taken out, then I can just use those same marks to measure 10 inches and I've actually notched the frame with a cutting wheel instead of just having something that can wipe off. So there's not much left to do other than actually just bite the bullet and do it. So this is gonna be fun. Well, I have some bad news. I've just gone to do some grinding and cutting. For some reason, my grinder is missing. And then there's a bunch of other grinders which I've just checked. They're all missing the hardware. And so I thought, okay, I can Make something else work. I have this fitting. Then I realized that somebody's cut the end off of this power cord. Hmm. That's frustrating. So what I've done is I had a mini uh, abrasive chop saw and I cut it, or I took it apart. Hopefully that worked. I don't really think I have any more blades for that. But I gotta do something, so whatever. Let's get this done.
got all the supports uh, clamped in and everything butted up um, and from the marks that I made before I cut I'm at uh, exactly 10 inches on each side of the frame which means I took out six inches um, but now I've measured the wheelbase and I'm still about three quarters of an inch too long and uh, I don't really know why but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go just quickly Google what the wheelbase is recorded as um, and just see if maybe I was wrong in my measurement uh, at the beginning. I'm going to just do a little bit more research and then tomorrow I'll have to cut out some more. Which sucks because again I don't have the right tools to make the cut and the grinds. I'm calling it for the night and uh, I'll get at it tomorrow. Well it's next day and a quick Google last night told me that the wheelbase was 131 and a half originally. When I measured it before, I probably just sort of did it and thought 131, why would they make it and a half? Um, so my bad, not a huge deal, other than of course the fact that I don't have a grinder to cut it, but I've got my makeshift tools here. Other than that, everything else is ready to go for welding. So I just got to pull it apart, take another half inch out each side and uh, then weld it back together. So hopefully that won't take too long. I don't have a ton, ton of time today and I need to get it done so I can roll it out so it's not in the shop um, when I'm not here and in the way for other people. So gotta get back to work. I finished cleaning up now and I want to roll the truck out so uh, it's not in the way. I don't think I'm going to come here during the week. I probably will, but right now I'm not planning to. So roll it out so it's out of the way. And if somebody needs to use the hoist or something, they can. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Have a good one.